but I, I can't stay home. I have to work. Like, what do you mean stay home? I, I, I'm, I'm not dead. So I, I can still walk. Like I can, I can definitely still walk so I can go to work still. Hi, welcome to Yovi's home. I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Today I'm going to be sharing with you, let's see, eight, eight habits that I picked up since living in the Netherlands. If that sounds good to you, then why don't you come on in, kick off your shoes, and stay a while. I'm really glad you're here. All right, you guys, so there's no disclaimers really needed in this video, which means we can kind of get right into it. Today, I really do wanted to share some kind of things that I picked up or the ways that kind of I've changed as a person. Um, by living in the Netherlands and just like becoming a little bit more Dutch. Um, so yeah, it, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. So the first kind of habit that I picked up um, is to eat more seasonal foods and to cook more. Definitely in the Netherlands, um, the grocery stores, like the fruit and vegetable varieties, they do change depending on the season, which is wonderful you know and and you have like at farmers markets and things you'll have like whatever is in season and the prices of those products will reflect the, the fact that they're in season so even though you can get strawberries for example in the winter time they're going to be a lot more expensive than they would be in the summertime so this makes you think um and really try to kind of be creative and think outside the box and to eat seasonally which is healthier for you so that's definitely a good habit that I've learned and picked up here. I also have like a Pinterest board with like my different seasonal foods and like different seasonal recipes to make. And that's fun. That makes it like a fun variety and you're not just eating the same things all the time just because you're eating seasonally. And then of course cooking more um, because it's, yeah, it's fun and it's not as expensive and you know salaries are smaller in the Netherlands than they are in the United States so I think that people treat like going to eat out as really like a treat and really something as you do um as a special occasion or like a special thing you're not having lunch out every day you're not eating you're not ordering dinner um like for delivery every day or every other day or something people really cook more and that's certainly something that I picked up because it's healthier again and it's better for my wallet and it's better for for everything it's just better it's healthier it's better number two so the number two habit that I picked up um is becoming a little bit more Dutch in my spending I'm always now searching for the best deals whereas before in the states I would think more like, oh, but I want it and I, it's all right, I'll just put on my credit card and like not thinking through the consequences of that. Um, whereas now I really do and I'm like, well, but is this the best deal? Let me have a look. Like maybe I can find it cheaper somewhere else or, you know, like really trying to place like a value and an emphasis on saving as opposed to spending, as I just said. But finding the best deal, looking for that, really seeking it out, um, has been, has been a change that I've experienced as a, as a person, um, since moving to the Netherlands. Number three, <laughs> number three, um, is that I actually call in sick sometimes. That's not something that I did in the United States. So taking a sick day when I am sick is a habit that I picked up in the Netherlands. If you've seen my video on why I won't work in the United States, then you will know what I talk about sick leave um, and going into work like just completely like with the flu and like with your no, but I, I don't do that now. I've become Europeanized or Dutchified, I guess, in that way um, where when I'm sick, I stay home and I recover. I keep myself and my germs in my house until I'm better and then I go back to work. Um, it took quite a long time for me to, to make that mental uh, change in my life. And it took a whole lot of encouragement from my husband to feel okay with it. Um, because there would be this moment in the beginning when I would get sick or something and then he would say, well, why don't you just stay home? You know, you have a fever, like stay home. And I would be like, but I, I can't stay home. I have to work. Like, what do you mean stay home? I, I, I'm, I'm not dead, so I, 
I can still walk, like I can, I can definitely still walk, so I can go to work still. And he's like, yeah, but you know, you're not really like making sense. You're kind of like in a fever delirium. So what kind of work are you gonna be doing? What's the quality of your work gonna be if you still go to work? I'm like, no, 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 no. But my body will be there. My butt will be in my work chair. Like I will be there. So, so that's like working, right? It's not the same. Um, and it took a long time to like understand that actually it's okay to stay home when you're sick um, and just focus on getting better. And you know, you're not gonna need to worry about being fired for being sick. So that's like another one. Number four is kind of related to number three, okay? And, <laughs> and this is that I have actually um, become quite Dutch in the fact that I now believe in the power of paracetamol. <laughs> So if you're new to the Netherlands, um, if you're a new expat or you're coming here, one thing that you're going to learn is that to get an antibiotic, you need to be sick for like two or three weeks before you're going to get one of these things uh, from a Dutch doctor. They are very much about, they're going to tell you, okay, you have a cold, that's fine, or like, a, you know, you're sick, you're going to stay home for this week from work and take paracetamol, which in American English is called Tylenol. Um, you're just gonna take Tylenol every whatever, six hours or whatever it is, um, until you're better and then you're gonna get better. Your body is gonna fight the infection and you're, you don't need an antibiotic. Whereas um, certainly in the United States, like at the first sign of a cold, you run to your doctor, they give you an antibiotic. And it's not, that's also a little bit of a difference. Like in the Netherlands, they're gonna start you off with the most um, um, what's the word? Like, not light, but like the weakest antibiotic that might fix you, you know? So there is a chance that that antibiotic won't work and that you're going to need to get a stronger one later. Whereas in the States, it's kind of reversed where they're going to give you like a broad spectrum, super strong antibiotic right away to knock out those germs or whatever it is that's ailing you. Um, but I don't, like that anymore um and that's a lot saying like i'm i'm a i'm a daughter of a doctor and i worked in a medical clinic so i'm like all about like medicine and like yeah like i was very much into the antibiotic thing and for a long time when i was coming like when i was visiting my parents in the states and and then coming here my dad would like give me like a couple prescriptions for antibiotics to have on hand when my house arts didn't give them to me um but no more I don't believe in that. I have completely shifted in this whole thing of like, let your body try to fight the infection for itself. Give yourself rest, fluids, soup, you know, this kind of thing and just recover and your body is going to do that. Um, save the antibiotics for when you really need them. Um, the approach to antibiotics and like not having um, antibiotic resistance for people is very impressive and I really stand behind that now. So that's really crazy that I'm saying this. Even as I'm saying it now, I'm thinking, oh my God, can it really be? Am I really advocating for paracetamol? And yes, I am. I am. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I've been converted. I'm a believer. I'm a paracetamol believer. Um, yeah. <laughs> Number five, the fifth habit that I've picked up uh, since moving to the Netherlands is planning way in advance, you know, like um, it's not uncommon. Like now I'll be talking to someone and I'll be planning something with three months from now. <laughs> and it's so funny to think that before, um, yeah, like I would just pick up the phone like, hey, what are you doing now? Okay, let's go now or let's do it tomorrow or whatever. And now, and I don't know if it's because I'm a mom and so now it's much harder for me to just pick up and do something, you know, just like at the, at the drop of a hat. But definitely this whole thing of like, okay, so uh, it's now September. So uh, on November 17th at uh, three, from three until five, we're gonna go and have a coffee. <laughs> And that's just so funny, but it's true. It is true. I do that now. Like, I do plan like very, very far in advance, and you know, it's like you know, scheduled in my little agenda. Um, 
we have uh, for my old work I have a group of friends and we do this like uh, a group of friends that are all moms and we do this like uh, moms and babies like meetup where every few months we'll we'll go I don't know to like a you know like an indoor playground or we'll go to someone's house or we'll do something together um, but we plan those literally three months in advance and it's so funny because even then some of us are like oh yeah I forgot I had this thing other thing planned but we do we do that in advance and I just want to say hi to all my friends if you guys are watching this video I love our mama baby meetups and I can't wait for the next one because I love seeing you guys and spending time with you so I'm grateful to have you guys in my life and thank you for supporting my YouTube journey <laughs> Okay, so the sixth habit that I've picked up since moving to the Netherlands is separating and recycling my trash. Not recycling, but separating out my trash. Um, I'll link to the video that I made here in case you're new and in case you don't know how to separate your trash or what goes where. But definitely um, earlier, like when I was living in the States, I had one garbage can and one recycling can. And in that recycling bin went everything that was recyclable. Um, whereas now, you know, you recycle your... Um, plastic metal drink packets, uh, you recycle, you separate your paper. Certainly if you're going, for example, to one of the waste stations, then you're even like um, defining those things even further. Um, I separate my food waste, my trash, uh, food trash, and that is something that I didn't do before. I feel such a sense of pride in doing that. I'm sorry if you hear, if you hear something, that's my kids, they just came in, but I really feel a just a sec, honey. Did you finish? No, baby, I'm still filming. I'm, I'm finished. Did you finish? Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so I feel an enormous sense of pride in actually separating uh, my trash this way and in um, like contributing to a better environment and like a healthier country. It feels very good for me and I really like, you know, I'm kind of militant about it now in our, in our house. If I find like one thing that's been like improperly sorted, I'm like, hey, that thing needs to go there. <laughs> um, but it's also inspiring. Like I love seeing my son who is now like, oh, I, <laughs> who you can hear now. He'll be like, oh mama, I have this, you know, whatever. Like which, which, which trash do I put this in? And then we talk about it. So I really, love that and that's a that's a habit that i'm really proud of that i picked up in the netherlands so number seven the number seven thing that i picked up since moving to the netherlands thing not thing habit that i picked up since moving to the netherlands is walking places um where i lived in the united states it's not a big city like boston or new york where where it's more european-y in the sense that you can walk more places um no in arizona you really really need a car to get anywhere and that's what, that's what I was doing before. And now in Europe and definitely in the Netherlands, if I can avoid taking my car, I do. I love walking to the grocery store to just get like a loaf of bread or like some random thing that we ran out of or um, taking public transportation when, I, when we can, when we, there's enough time or, you know, like, cause I'm still a little bit bound by my kids, my daughter's like nap schedule. So sometimes it takes so much longer to go public transportation that I, that I can't. But when I can, I really love to. Um, for example, when my husband and I have a date night and we have a babysitter, like we take the tram somewhere or we walk places and that feels great. I really, really love um, using public transportation and certainly walking places. I'd love to be able to say that I picked up the habit of riding my bike everywhere, but that is not my situation. Uh, I'll link to a video where I talk about that up here, but walking and public transportation, definitely that is something that, those are wonderful healthy habits that I've picked up since, since moving to the Netherlands. Okay, so the last habit that I picked up since moving to the Netherlands is feeling more equal in the workplace. Um, this isn't something that I realized right away that was happening, but definitely, um, I definitely see it now. Um, when I was working in America, I was feeling like, you know, I'm like this like low person on the totem pole, really having to be a little bit ass kissy to your boss, you know, cause they have so much power over 
whether you get to keep your job or not, or whether you, you know, what happens to you. Um, and certainly people above, like, it was, you know, it was very intimidating to see them. Um, when somebody would come from like another office or something, I was very, very intimidated. And I think this is like a normal thing. It, I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only person who's felt that way. Whereas in the Netherlands, there is a completely different feeling in the workplace between management and workers. Um, definitely in my last job, I mean, the management team, they would be having lunch with everyone else. Um, you could talk to them, you could bring up your ideas to them. Definitely there was something, there's a different feeling when you can, it feels more human. Like I felt like, yeah, okay, you're management and I'm not, but we're still both human and we're both people and we can talk in a way that I don't feel like you have such power over like my life um, because even if I say something that maybe you don't like or you don't agree with, you don't have the ability to fire me like this because I have an employment contract, you know, just because like maybe you just don't like what I'm saying or you disagree with my opinion. So that's, uh, yeah, that's a habit. Well, it's not a habit, but it's a... Um, it's a, it's a, I don't know, an approach to life, an outlook on life that I picked up um, from being in the Netherlands. And it's not just in the workplace. Also, um, the parent-child parent, uh, relationship is different. Um, even in the service industry, like the, you know, the, when you go to a restaurant, like that relationship is different. The people in the shops, that relationship is different. Um, and by different, I mean more equal or like, you know, like, yes, I work at this shop and I will help you, but... I don't need to like kiss your butt in doing so. So I don't know. That's that's my list. I'm sure that there's more that and I would love to hear yours. So if you are an expat living in the Netherlands or living anywhere else, I would love to hear what habits you picked up um, by living here or living wherever you live. Um, and if you're Dutch and if you've left the country, so like if you moved somewhere else, I would love to know how that's been for you on the reverse way like what habits have you picked up um or what has surprised you in the other country that you're living in so that's it you guys thank you so much for coming over thank you so much for spending some time with me today obviously not in my house we are at my aunt's house in france um thank you for coming to her house um thank you for spending time with me today i really appreciate it you guys are great. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.